Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Today we're going to do a basic introduction to addition. But before we get started, we need our student volunteer, Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah, that's good. Let's get started right there. Today we're going to do basic addition, 6 plus 3. Let's demonstrate addition on a number line. Let's start at 6, and adding 3 means you're going to move to the right 3 units. And what do you get, Charlie? 9. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, let's do another one here. How about negative 6 plus 3? Don't get scared. We start at negative 6, and we move 3 units to the right. And what do you get, Charlie? Negative 3. Very nice there, Charlie. Very good. Now, let's do 0 plus 5. Don't get scared. It's so easy, it's confusing. Okay, Charlie, we start at 0. We move to the right 5 units. And what do you get? 5. Very nice there, Charlie. It is 5. All right. Let's look at negative 4 plus 5. We start at negative 4 and we move to the right 5 units. But notice we're going to pass the 0. Because once we move 4 units to the right, we're at 0. And we still have to move one more to move a total of 5 units to the right. And so our answer is positive 1. How about negative 9 plus 11? Well, we start here at negative 9. If we move 9 units to the right, that will take us to 0. And because we're moving a total of 11, to the right, we still have to move two more units, and that takes us to 2. So now that we moved a total of 11 units, we see that negative 9 plus 11 is a positive 2. About negative 10 plus 18, we start over here at negative 10, and we're going to move all the way over 18 units. But from negative 10 to 0 is 10 units. But we still have to move 8 more units, so let's go ahead and do that and we end up at positive 8. So negative 10 plus 18 is positive 8. So there's a basic introduction of addition on a number line. But when you get to algebra, it's going to get a little bit more complicated. So here's a typical question. I got asked this question this morning. Anyway, what number do you add to negative 5 to get positive 2? Well, if we start at negative 5, we have to move how many units to the right to get to the 2? Well, we know if we move 5 units to the right from negative 5, we will be at 0. And if we move 2 more units, that will take us to the positive 2. That's where we're trying to get to. And therefore, we moved a total of 7 units to the right. Therefore, what number do you add to negative 5 to get 2? It's positive 7. And negative 5 plus 7 is, in fact, positive 2. So we've answered this question. Let's do another one here. What number do you add to negative 8 to get positive 7? Don't get scared. Let's start at negative 8. And we're trying to get to the positive 7. So let's first move 8 units to get us to the 0. And to get to the 7, we still have to move 7 more units. So let's go ahead and do that. And notice we moved a total of 15 units to get from negative 8 to the positive 7. So what number do you add to negative 8 to get to positive 7? That is 15. And note, negative 8 plus 15 is a positive 7. So there you go. It's a basic introduction to algebra. Anyway, we'll be back soon.